Hello world! This is Flash Thumb Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Land! In the last episode, we defeated the, the second boss of the game and finished World 2. So we're gonna head off to my least favorite world out of all. So first off, let's finish this bonus game. Wow, three more lives! Have I ever been this lucky about recording viewers? Ever? I don't think I have, and what's with the... The World 1 music, because, like, seriously, this stage is a kick in the balls, like, literally. And, of course, I start as little more, because, well, one mushroom is apparently not enough in the water stage. Alright. Clear that trap over there. I don't know why they put it there. And we have a new enemy over here, Bullet Bills, or whatever the heck those are. Those launchers. Let's go down here first and grab the coins. Now what's kind of unbelievable is that they put spikes in an underground level, like... That could kill someone, man! Like, jeez. No, watch out for that. Are you freaking serious?! <laughs> I said it could kill someone, I land in the spikes! Oh my god. Freaking ridiculous. Well, just so you know, viewers, I actually have done this, well, walkthrough of, uh, Super Mario World at least once, so... So I've had a lot of ridiculous deaths occur, like, many, many times in the duration of the walkthrough. I actually made, like, a death so far video in that walkthrough, but it's probably not even that good compared to the an LP, like, over commentary. Like, who would take quiet... Who would... Who would prefer, uh... Quiet... Whatever. I was gonna say something else, but okay. Hmm, you can grab all these coins here if you want, but it's kind of risky. First off, hold the right control pad. See how I would have died there? Yeah, I gotta watch out for that. And here we have a new enemy that I never explained yet. Bullet Bills, or Bullet Bill Launchers, which launch out Bullet Bills. But the, the cool thing about them in Super Mario Land is that they... they Jeez, man, okay, get rid of that Koopa there. Oh, holy crap, what the heck was that? But the thing with them is that they kind of stick your heads in and out from uh, the pipe, so that's pretty cool. Oh, holy crap, what the heck is that? Whatever it is, it looks like a fallen angel. Like, we're facing a couple of these totem pole with wings here, and that one in the bottom there is just rushing towards you without any wings. Like, you see wings, but still, like, you just don't see them. They're pretty much like... It's like they're, like, torn up because they're fallen. Okay, this part over here, don't even bother going for that lower platform. Long jump for that little two picks, whatever the heck it is, two centimeter, whatever measurement that is, platform there. Whoa, holy crap, I don't know how I grabbed that mushroom in time, but okay. Take what you can get. Take it, and go. Be careful over here. Pretty sure there's no underground here, if I remember correctly. Here? Holy crap, all three at once. Yeah. I guess, like, I see everything coming in this game, viewers. Like, that's what happens when you play this game over 100 times. It's my most played game out of all time in my life. Well, other than, well, my second most, fa most played game of all is Final Fantasy IV. I've beaten it already five times. Holy crap, running out of time. Oh! God, what the hell did I do? Okay, we're not supposed to jump off there, we're supposed to go in this donut over here. I don't know how it's getting us to the other side, but okay. I may end up dying over here, because I there's some stuff I want to show off here, but... Well, I don't know if I have the time for it, but... It's kind of weird how you're like jumping on donuts and taking you across the side, but... In the colored version of the game, those are actually pink. And this part, you want to jump off, because, well, God knows. It's going to bang you up there, it's going to loose you off. This part, you gotta watch out. Oh, jeez, I couldn't get up there. This part, you gotta long jump, or you just normal jump normally. This part over here, you wanna make sure you get on here, or else you miss your chance at the bonus stage. See how you, you can't reach that panel up there? Yeah, you have to actually ride that thing to actually go up on the top there. And the thing just disappears off the screen, but whatever, let's just end up a level here. With 19 seconds, or 1.9 seconds to go. Wow. I don't know how it works, like, seriously. Are we gonna get something bad this time? Probably the far flower, I'm guessing. 
Three life again? My luck is so good today. Oh my goodness. Now begins the worst part of the game. My least favorite part of the stage. I mean, my least favorite stage of the game ever. 3 2, the dreaded sinking Egyptian ruins, whatever you call it. Spiders attacking you from the top. Jeez, man. Like that. And there's pipes. There's pitfalls everywhere, man. Like, seriously. There's a secret over here to getting to the top over there, but I can't show it. But show it because, well, I'm freaking tiny. We can't show it now? Hang on. Probably can't. No, I can't because there was... The secret was actually earlier... At an earlier place, but okay, this part you gotta be a little careful because... If you're one step away, that spider can fall into your hand and you'll shrink. Gotta be careful here? Whoa! Wow. Okay. Gotta get my wits together. Okay. Has there ever been like an intense Mario game that you've actually played for viewers? I'd like to know. Let's see. Oh yeah, the secret's over here to get into the top pipe over there. I guess that was the other secret I'm talking about, but you wouldn't jump off because if you What the heck? It's supposed to disappear. Eh, nah, whatever. Okay, there it disappears. Okay. Go down here for the secret. Holy cow, look at all those coins, man. Yeah, too bad I don't have the fireball to collect them for me. And since I'm very, very, very perfect, or I'm just a basic perfectionist, let's break all the blocks over here. Grab the coins over here and this side, too. I can probably break up the entire stage over here. And that question mark block over there contains a 1-up. I want to grab that if I can. If I can't, well, so be it. Okay, there. Because off... Oh, it's a power-up flower. Very nice. Because often, when you just go over the pipe or enter the pipe there, it just takes you back with no choice whatsoever. And you can't go back down anymore. Holy cow, 35 lives. And the secret, I'm pretty sure it's... Yeah, it's gonna reappear over there. There's a trap over there you wanna watch out for because, well... Jump quickly. Oh, wait, never mind. There was supposed to be a trap over there, but, well, I guess... Answering that stage over there kind of... Did everything right, but okay. Aw, oh, damn you, Koopa! Watch out for this spider over here. Oh, I could've kept my raging fireball free going, but you had to ruin it. Didn't you? Get off there, Koopa. The first time I played this game, I thought it was a duck. A duck! It's 8-bit graphics, so you can't blame me back then, viewers. And this part of here, I really hate because you gotta jump on these stinking balls up here and then jump on the other side. It's pretty risky. More jumping and... In my walkthrough, there's actually one event where I jump off the thing and land over here, but the ball just, for some reason, goes underneath me and it takes me down with it. Into the pitfall, and I die. Okay, enough talking, let's just move on. Running out, running out of time. At least we're nearing the stage. The thing with the time limit is that whenever you your time goes under 100 seconds, the music goes by faster telling you that you gotta finish now, or you'll end up losing the stage. Over here, I really hate because, well, breakable blocks, I mean, one step on them and they fall. This part over here, stupid, bonus stage, you gotta jump on these blocks over here. I really hate, and here we go. It's just that, it's just that pathway to the top that's really annoying about this game, it really trips me over. I love the game in general, but like, seriously? Heh, <laughs> one life. Whatever. Jeez. And here begins the final part of World 3. This part I kind of like because it's like slow motion when you jump from platform to platform. I don't know why. This part you gotta watch out because there's a ball coming down here. Just jump on it and jump off. Careful. And this part usually trips me over because I'm trying to get to that pipe up there, but that prop plant won't agree and... Yeah, whatever. Basically, if you're wondering what's on... Or underneath that pipe over there, it's, well, it's the same thing that we encountered in the last stage, but those coins everywhere. This part went through, and went again to the top there, so let's do a run jump, why not? Woo! Okay. Let's see, the fourth block here is a one up. Yes, there we go. I'm gonna grab that, and let's do more platforming, very nice. I'm actually very, very terrible about platforming viewers, I'm just really used to the patterns and everything in this game. Oh boy, you should see me in Kingdom Hearts. 
Now, you can take the upper path or the lower path, but I like to take the upper path because there's a secret block over there you can take, but we don't want to go down there first. There's a secret pipe over here, but same thing like last time, you touch the spikes, you die. Let's skip on that. And for some reason, whenever I come up on the stage, the platform and the bomb is gone, and those two breakable blocks on top there are gone too. Okay, this part here really tricked me over when I was a little kid. Basically, you have to wait for that platform over there to reach... Well, go underneath the th thing we're on top of here, and then come back, and then land on it. So wait for it now. N there. Ooh, barely got in there. Same thing with this thing over here. I don't know why I got so tripped over that, but... In this part over here... And let's just run. It's a force of habit, really, running... Running down, like, running after you successfully accomplish a hard part of the stage. I don't care about the mushroom. Actually, I do care about it, but... I don't want to get hit by that ball. And for some reason, when you're hit by that ball, you take damage. Oh, hey, it's better than whatever other reason we have for taking damage. And you're going to be careful here and very cautious, because... It's a boss. It's... BOSS TIME! Okay, so basically... There's two ways to win this battle. You can just grow as Big Bar and run right through the guy and get to the other part of the stage. You can just do that. Or you can just enter the rocks up there. I'm just gonna die on purpose there to show you that you can actually defeat the boss by going on top of the rocks over there. It's nice how they actually give you a mushroom power up here so you can actually defeat the boss and have a chance at it. Yeah, I had a really big trouble the first time I did this. Just gotta choose the right time to actually jump. Do a long jump. Damn it! Whatever, I'll just die. Okay, if I can't jump on those rocks on top there. Oh, jeez, sorry, viewers. One second. If I can't jump on those rocks over there. I'll just beat the guy already, who cares? Because when you shrink as Mario, you gain invincibility for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, perp. Okay, damn it, whatever. Just finish the stage. I've had enough. Well, jeez, it's my least favorite stage or world in the entire game, and I should have this chance to actually, like, do whatever I want here, but whatever. Daisy, Daisy. Sorry, I can't sing, and I don't know the lyrics to the song. It's from Futurama, from the last time I remember it. Jeez. Just don't remember what episode it's from. But, can we finally find Daisy in the final world of the game? Find out next time! Let's play Super Mario Land! This is Flash of the Zero, signing off. Have a good day!